Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in to Crosswords and Chill. Despite the uh, information that I sent out when I started the stream, I uh, neglected to update my stream information like a massive rookie, but it's been a busy day and I forgot some things. How's everybody doing? I've been looking forward to getting back on the Crosswords for quite some time. We uh, haven't done any over the summer. And... Uh, so we've got a bit of a, a backlog to work through, but we can clear through some today. We've got two hours of uninterrupted crosswords coming, and uh, I'm excited to get going, basically. Ah, the inherent chill of the background music. This is it's quite a jazzy little bit of, uh, of a ditty, this one. It's chill, but it's also, you know, does make you want to move your shoulders a little bit. That's how I feel about that. But welcome in, HBorts. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a little while. You've got a little train next to your name, though. Very nice. I like trains. Yeah. And uh, I know that you've you have been looking forward to the return of Crosswords and Chill. If only we could convince Duncan the Singer to uh, bring back his French streams as well. We could have a, a nice little chill Thursday afternoon of French leading into to crosswords. But that is a, a piece of work that we still need to complete. I started learning Klingon, but I'm not sure that that is the kind of chill segue required to go into crosswords. It's a bit too... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Guttural? for chill. I am alright, thank you. Writing about the security of aviation. Thrilling. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah, it's my my first free week with uh, the little one going to kindergarten. So I've been able to catch up with some work. I actually have a path from this streaming space out of this area for the first time in months. The rest of the room is still a massive trash heap, to be fair, but I'm working on it, piece by piece, little by little. I'm uh, getting things sorted. Finally getting products listed on my website and people are, are buying them. It's almost like they've been waiting for them for months and I've been here with no time able to do it, but there you go. Yeah, I missed my French to crossword. Crosswords, that was great. Yeah, well, we'll start the, the pressure campaign. Well, uh, there is a, a hate bot in, and he has won the jump catch game, so you can in the chillest way get out of here sir Flinsman thank you very much for the sub much appreciated I don't know if you are uh, you are lurking about there or whether you have just renewed it in the background but uh, my appreciations to you good sir do we know anything about any of these other people are there lovely lurkers or are there other bots Time will tell. Uh, I was lurking, but I'm in work. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hope to see you for... Uh, Going to do some evening kind of gaming, Rocket Leaguing and Four Guys and stuff soon. So hope to see you back for that. It was a blast last time. But today, here, right now, we are here for Crosswords. And uh, I think we should probably just get on with it, shall we? So let's push the button and bring up our first crossword. If you are new to crosswords and chill, and it's it's been a little while, so you may very well be, uh, I'm gonna read out the clues. You can begin to answer those uh, clues in the chat whenever you like. Uh, there's no real limit to how many you can do, but this is crosswords and chill. So an element of that chill is making sure that everybody gets to take part and everybody gets a go. So don't go insane and answer the entire crossword because you could just do a crossword on your own if that was the case. So, keep it nice and chill. Now then, 
Here are the clues for our first crossword of the day. The across is first of all. Psychic, 11. Depressed, 4. Get the better off, 8. Members of a coven, 7. Highest part in a piece of choral music, act on, anagram, 5. Calamari, 5. Small fry, 7. Dyspeptic, 8. Spiritedness, 4. And sparkle, 11. The downs are stark, naked, 4. Cavalry soldier, 7. Time period, 5. Agricultural worker, 8. Agree that the terms are now equal and satisfactory, 4, 2, 5. Reverse the course of events, 4, 3, 4. Principles for assessment, 8. With gentleness, 7. Unclean, 5. And finally, card game, 4. Oi, oi, indeed, Mr. Harmstone. You will notice the little badge next to your name has morphed in colour from pink to green. You have been uh, promoted, I think is the is the best way of putting it. You are, you have been officially modded. I've already got rid of one of the uh, the hate bots already that had the goal to win the uh, the jump catch game. So uh, do keep an eye out for anybody else that uh, that is about. Thank you very much. And the first answer comes from Flinsman. Thirteen across squid. Yes. And that's the first Jez misspelling of the day. Comes in the first answer. Uh, nine across from Harmstone. Witches. Witches. Fifteen from Mara. Good to see you again. Uh, fifteen across, I assume. No, fifteen down. Dirty. Please do remember to include A or D whenever uh, you are giving an answer so that I, my simple little brain knows whether you're talking about an across clue or a down clue. Uh, 17 down. Snap. That is a card game. Other, other card game options are available. Note, hate bots, not hate bots. Don't kick me out, please. Indeed. Okay. That was the wrong place to scroll. Uh, stark naked, one would assume, is nude. Yeah, thank you for that one, Harmstone. I'm not sure whether that was a bot, but I don't really like the sentiment of their name anyway, so that's all good. That's a good choice. Four minutes old. Yeah, yeah. Uh, seven across, down. Hmm. Not if nude is correct. But down could be it. The other answer I had for one down was bear, but that ends, it, that ends in E as well. I'm going to put your answer in, Flinsman, because I can't think of any other. I will really think the stark nakedness. You think nude is right? Well, we'll... We'll go, we'll go. We'll go with it. You think nude is right as well? Alright, okay. Let's clear that. Put nude back in. And we'll need another answer for depressed. Mute. As in you, you, you feel a bit muted. Is that a... Psychic. Um, con artist? Does that fit? No, it doesn't fit. I'm not sure it's 11, 11 letters either. Um, a shyster? <laughs> Reverse the course of events. I feel like I should be able to easily get to this one. So, turn or Roll, roll it back, but it doesn't fit. Turn, turn it 
turn it back. Hey, Obliviator. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Good to see you, sir. How's life in probably wet Wales? It tried to be wet here today, down in the south of England. And it was wet for a bit, and then it was not wet. And that is the, the wetness update. You are very welcome for it. The moist index, if you will. Good, thanks, big man. Yourself? I am excellent. Thank you for asking. It's dry. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. M is for moist tonight with Alex. That's that's very true. And uh, while we have the segue, let's just uh, cover myself over for a second with uh, the schedule for today. That's me. Look, three o'clock. The Jess Show. Yep. And then at 6.30, it's Mamores. And at 7.30... It's the M stream with Always Be Chatting on ABC's ABC's. That's today. If you're starved of some entertainment for the day, you can find it on the Primetime Streaming Network. I can't get this one yet, but I think back, back something or turn something. Turn the tide? Turn the tide. Turn the tide. Let's go with that for the moment. Turn the tide. Playing a bit of football manager on the Xbox. I'm sorry to hear that, mate. Why would you torture yourself in that way? Haven't you got something good to do? Join us in a crossword. Football manager. Let's just get rid of this acorn as well. Because we don't need this kind of nonsense in our lives sorted 11 across canto and that works with my uh, turn the tide yeah. it's unbelievably clunky I, I did hear and I'm not at all into um, football soccer for jazz at all but I did hear that uh, they haven't really improved football manager from like the early 2000s version that they kind of peaked there much like with wrestling games they peaked in the early 2000s and it hasn't really improved from there and they've tried to add things in and that has largely ruined the game what are your thoughts on that let me know okay Dyspeptic is not a word I know, but it'll be the inability to do something, I would assume. Spiritedness, S something, I something. Ah, it's like indigestion, yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> you know I love a hot take. Oh, don't you? Don't you just? Yes, like Pepto Bismol. Peptics. Yes. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, it's awful, but addictive. Fair enough. I mean, I played like Truck Simulator and various things like that, which on paper sound awful and dull as hell, but yet yeah, they're addictive and highly, highly compelling. But doing some trucking with. Uh, my good friend Research One on uh, Monday. There we go. Let's give him a little shout out. A note for you, Mr. Harmstone. If you're doing a shout out, uh, you must not use an at because otherwise it ruins it. Oh, we found another one. Equilove. Bye, bot. Nice knowing you. If you're not a bot, you can appeal. Make sure your appeal is entertaining, otherwise it's not happening. Um, ooh, how am I pronouncing this? Is the B silent? Is it Jokovsky? Is it is the J silent? Is it Bakovsky? Let me know. Eight across, out smart. B is not silent. So I've got to mix those two sounds together. Nothing is silent. Okay. Prepare for me to butcher your name and let me know 
how close I am. Bzharkovsky. Everything is loud and obnoxious. Hey, then you'll fit in perfectly here. This is the place for you. Loud and obnoxious is kind of our jam. Very close, okay. Uh, give me something I can call you by short. If you'd like to share your real name. If that isn't your real name, or whatever. You know what I'm saying. Kovsky. That'll work. That'll work. Welcome in, Kovsky. Nice to see you. Thank you for your answer. Uh, four down. Farm hand. I've been ignoring that answer for a while. While I ramble about nonsense. Thank you very much to Flinsman and Tamara for that answer. Just make sure I haven't missed any others. Nope, we look to be good. Looking forward to the season starting in full swing. I assume you mean the NFL season? Is that what you mean? Or do you mean the football, soccer, jazz season? Because the NFL season, of course, kicks off tonight. Very excited about that. Not going to stay up and watch the first game. It's at one in the morning, but I'll watch it tomorrow. Sparkle. Not sure about that. Not that I'm adding anything useful, but I will dip uh, for some meetings in a bit, I'm afraid. Okay. No worries. See, si, Patron. Cool. It's quite some, some quite tough clues today. Five down, call it quits. Agree that the terms are now equal and satisfactory. Okay. Call it quits. Very little it could be with that Q in there, so that's a good answer. Our sparkle now begins with an S. <laughs> Stay on mute and pretend your camera doesn't work like I do. Having a job is boring. Yeah. Yeah, I know, that's why I decided to stop doing that and work for myself. And then if it's boring, it's my own fault means I'm not putting enough ex excitement into my own business. A cavalry soldier. It's just a regular ground level kind of soldier. A... It's not coming. It's taken a while to warm the brain up to this crossword. It's been, it's been months since I've done a crossword. Uh, 12 down, careful, with gentleness, that seems to work, thank you, gives us another letter in this sparkle, it's getting fairly complicated, what is 14 across, a small fry, infantry, that was the word I was looking for, obliviator, I don't think it is the answer, as, as good as that answer is, but that is the word that my brain was trying to get to. So you've at least scratched that itch. But it doesn't fit there. Not with the two answers that we have. I genuinely got called out for it in a team meeting. Putting your mic on mute, uh, your camera on mute. Mic or camera, did you say? Let's have a look. Stay on mute and pretend your camera doesn't work. Yeah, right. Uh, camera for that one. Got called out on it in a team meeting a few months ago and was like, I'm not actually telling you I disabled it on the laptop but it's not working <laughs> then I had my meeting for the promotion the week after and had to pretend like I just got it working again hmm. mic I just dial in for so I can mute my headphones that makes sense yeah you can just set up various like programs on your computer to fully control all of these things I'm here, but lurking. You do you, little cute girl. Thanks very much for the look. There's a bit of Homer. I haven't seen that in a while. Michael Camera. What's the J, then? Michael J. Camera. Trooper! That's it, Flinsman. Good answer. Very nice. And then th throwing another one back in. Three across. Three... Three across? Five across. Cl oh. Clairvoy at 
So it wasn't nude. It was not nude, but our down doesn't fit there now either with call it quits. Must be bear. Yeah, bear then. Nice, nice. So depressed, it may not be the mood or the, the feeling. It could just be something pushed in. So synonym for something pushed in. Oh, blue. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Mara. I'll shut my mouth. It is uh, about the, the feeling, the mood of depression. Uh, spiritedness, four letters. S something, I something. Just keep that one in the back of your mind. Dyspeptic, which we discussed already, was like an upset stomach feeling, acid reflux, indigestion, heartburn, all that kind of stuff. A lot of eyes in it. but nothing immediately obvious is coming to me. Time period. Too many letters for what would be the obvious answer of era. Month. That works. Thank you, Kofsky. Yeah, oh, that fits. It'll do at least until we press the check all button and see if it works. The principles for assessment are the criteria. The assessment criteria. Thank you, former teaching life. All the things that turned me off being a teacher, such as assessment criteria. Ugh. Still got a answer of sparkle to chuck in here 11 letters s something i something t something u something a something e this is probably a t something eight hey that didn't work why didn't that work I accidentally delete the button. Hmm. What did I do with that? Let's try that. There it is. Didn't keep the caption. That was supposed to be the caption, Jazzy Jazz the Magnificent. But that didn't work. But there you go. There's your picture. Oh, I know why it doesn't work. I changed the... Uh, I changed the name. It's now, what's it called now? Just take a picture. Yes. Take a picture, exclamation mark. Done. Done. Let's just do a, t let's do some live testing, folks. A bit of live testing. you go that's fixed job done some of the other things might not work now as well what are we gonna do back to the crossword let's get back to crosswords for a second we've nailed the downs we've got a, a few acrosses left small fry seven letters something a something d something e something dyspeptic something i something e something i something e mm. spiritedness 
four letters, S something I something. And sparkle, S something I something T something U something A something E, as we just discussed. 12 down is likely rather than careful, you think? What would that change? Does that give you? Does that change this one? Give you something for sparkle? By putting an L in there instead. Liverish. Okay. Fit is peptic. Glad you're here. Would never have got that. Never heard that word before in my life. Ever. Never ever. Forever ever. 14. Uh, 14 kiddies. Very nice. Yeah. Now that you've said that, it might have been fish. It might have been fishies, other than the farmhand answer. But I like that. Uh, Flinsman, you just throwing out derogatory terms for small people, or uh, or we have an answer? Oh, for, for, was that for fourteen? <laughs> Eighteen across. Scintillate. Well. Scintill eight. Beautiful word, beautiful word. It just leaves a spiritedness. It's quite a spirited little ditty we've got going on as the background music right now. Very spirited. <laughs> um would fit Kofsky it would fit but I, I don't think that is uh, a synonym for spirited I appreciate the sentiment hmm to be spirited to be excited to be joyed could not be snap, mind you, but it fits with scintillate. Not at all sure. Yeah, snap was a guess. Yeah, there are plenty of card games. It's quite a generic. It's quite a generic clue. So if anybody's got a four-letter word for spiritedness that's something, something, I, something, throw it at us and we can change the card game. This being The Guardian is probably a fairly esoteric card game. Yeah, it does tend to be a bit off the wall sometimes. Either off the wall or completely on the nose. There's no middle ground. They're not going to make you think a little bit. They're either going to make you breeze through the answer or have you stab yourself in the eye when you finally get the answer. Those are the degrees of Guardian crossword clue. But this one has me stumped. We'll give it another minute. Uh, at which point we'll check all before we reveal that answer. And if it takes snap away, it'll refocus us for sure. But it's good to be back doing a crossword again. I can feel the spiders being ousted from my brain as their cobwebs are shaken amongst the grey matter. Brio for 17A, Brag for 17 down. I mean, sure. Brag is a card game. And Brio is a word, I guess. I thought Brio was like a knockoff, knockoff brick game thing for children. It's like a knockoff Duplo. 
Or is it knock off stickle bricks? Something like that. Vigor or vivacity of style or performance? That is a, a brio. Okay. We'll go with it. No, I've never heard of brio either. Let's check all. See how we're doing. GG's at the ready. We have lost 14 across. Our small fry. Kiddies, it was not. What could it be instead? Almost horses, yeah. Yeah, false start. But the horses back in the um, things with the, the gates in front of them. Starting blocks? Pens? I don't know. Horse racing. Stalls, that's it. Horses back in the stalls. The GGs will have to wait. So it's not kiddies, but the Ds were correct. A small fry. Mm. That's probably an R at the end. Careful change to lightly. It did, yeah, yeah. And it's correct, because we just did check all on on everything. And the only thing it's kicked back as incorrect was 14 across, small fry. We had kiddies in there. Fiddler? I mean, that's a word. Not a fiddler, a middler. A Riddler, a Tiddler. What kind of Australian colloquial nonsense is that? Tiddler, Guardian, honestly. Horses, everyone, GG's. We got there in the end. Slightly, uh, if it was Australian, it'd be bloody Tidlio. Tidlo. Tidlo. Hmm. The less said about that, the better. Right, hopefully crossword number two will be less face against wall smashy. Here are the clues you can start to answer immediately. Please include the... Uh, Clue number and clue direction. And don't go nuts. Across is proceed without the help of others. 225. Comms code for G. 4. Done. 8. Profundities. 8. Uh, 6. Sorry. Cease operating. 3. 3. Extravagant. 6. Truthful. 6. Eating to excess, eight. Cupid, son of Aphrodite, four. Having taken everything into consideration, two, seven. And the downs, small pieces of coloured paper, eight. English County, abbreviation, six. Medical Centre, six. Responsibility, four. Olympic field event, 4-5. Feeling of intense disgust, 9. Predisposition, 8. Oriental tobacco pipe with a long tube, 6. Period of one's great productivity, 6. Portable shelter, 4. Let's scroll and get some answers. I used to make that sort of joke, the Australian jokes. But then I asked my Aussie friend what they called off licenses. Off licenses. The answer, bottle-o. Thanks, Australia. Thanks so much. Comms code for G, golf. Why don't the Guardian like saying the words phonetic alphabet? 
why. They always make up some convoluted way of saying phonetic alphabet code for G. Why? Just say phonetic alphabet. One down, confetti. Thank you. Six down, pole vault. Didn't actually catch any of the pole vault this time around. Even with uh, the added watching and the streaming, still didn't. Disappointing. 17 down, tent. Flynn's been in with golf as well. A lot of jumping going on. 17 down, tent from Nova. Welcome in, Nova. Uh, 14 down. Hooker. Yeah. That seems to be what's written on the shops that sell bongs. Uh, golf, golf. 16 across. Gluttony. Glut. On. Is it double T? Did not know it was double T. It apparently is a double T. Rexiel TN. Welcome in. First time here, I believe. Tell us about yourself. But 13 across, lavish. Good answer. Good answer. Does the TN stand for Tennessee? Are you from the great state of Tennessee? 19 across on balance. Yep, that seems to fit there. Good guess, but no. Uh, twisting Nether from the old WoW days. Oh, okay. You're Dutch. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Welcome in. Nice to have you here. We're doing some Guardian crosswords. Uh, 18 across Eros. Yes. It was not coming to me. But that seems to fit. English County. An abbreviation for an English County. Not sure. Done. Completed. Complete. Or just complete. Can't count today. Trying to up my English vocabulary. Well, we'll do our best to... Excuse me a moment. There's a box in my way. Uh, we'll do our best to help you out with that. I think crosswords is a great way to do that. Um, some of these words that the Guardian use in their crosswords, though, tend to be words that are not everyday words and words that we've never heard before. So you'll learn some English along with us, it seems. Armstrong dropping in some Dutch. How we uh, how we saying that? A gorda gorda midag. Is that how we pronounce that? I'm not the uh, the Dutch guy. Close enough. Cool. Cool. Hoda me dag. Or who? Is it who? Huda? Or hoda? Huda me dag. I'm happy with being close. A medical center. Six letters potentially with an M in the middle. It's probably a clinic, so maybe it's not. Complete. So let's get rid of that. A predisposition, a biased of some kind. Finished, ah uh, yeah, that fits. Good. Thank you, Flins. Five across, go on alone. Go on without me. I'll survive on my own. Cease operating. This begins with C, two words. C something something. And an empty, yeah. Uh, second word. Dear Jez, please deliver me from this horrendously long meeting that I'm on a break from. I would help deliver you somewhere, but as I uh, I found 
out earlier, uh, Royal Mail are still having problems with their, their online postage, so I cannot deliver you anywhere or ship you in any way, unfortunately. Um, Harmstone's got some ideas uh, for uh, for how to get out of these meetings. Uh, Harmstone, if you'd like to share those again, feel free. USPS used to let you send kids, though, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So cut out or cop out are the two options we've been given by um, Alifa and Flinsman. Hmm, or cut out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Assuming you're doing it online, pretend your camera doesn't work and just stay on mute. I get away with it thanks to my charm. Well, if Harmstone thinks he's got charm, then Aletha's definitely going to get away with it. Give that a go. Give that a go. Which one should we go for, then? Should we say cut out? For now? As in to cut out. The, the service. Perhaps. Bloody Romel. Yeah, well, that's it. And I had to... I had to send parcels like a normal member of the public today. I had to take the box with the address written on it and say, can I send this parcel, please? Rather than just rocking up there with a load of boxes and then going bloop, 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 bloop and walking out like a smug twat. It felt like, like what is this, 1992? Sending parcels normally. Weird. 12 down. Prejudice. Not if cut out, but then cop out we had as another option. So let's change that and change that to red. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't work either. I haven't had a ramen burger, so I don't know what my face would do during a ramen burger, little cute girl, but... Thanks for the uh, the photo redeem. Uh, if 15 down is heyday, then 15 across could be honest. Okay. Yeah, so honest there. Let's get rid of this. And let's change that back to cut, because I think that was a better answer. And then uh, heyday, I believe, is an E. Is it... Is it an E rather than a... I think it's like that. Rather than A. A is the, the grass. Dried grass. You said E above. I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's an E. Did you put heyday? I can't even see it now. You said E above. No, you didn't. Let's see. You put A. After arrows. Oh, that's way back. Okay. I'm not going all that all that way back to prove you right. Hey, Day is some silly mobile game I've seen ads for. Oh, I bet it's like a Farmville type nonsense game, is it? Harvest the crops and then spend some money that you don't need to spend to make your crops go quicker when you could just not play at all. So a predisposition. We think either starts with a P or a T. True, no. No, still not got that one. Four down onus. Yes, the onus is on us to not suck at this crossword. A tendency, okay. That confirms cutout for me. Lovely. Nice to match those up. Another intersecting answer. Feeling of intense disgust, nine. Something E, something U, something S, something O. Something. Mm. 
Repulsion. Being into death metal has its pros. Hey, not just crosswords. Being into death metal has many, many pros. Repulsion. Or repulsion. Or revulsion. Mm. Yeah, as in revolted. Revolting. Mm. Well, we'll keep that one in our in our minds when we check all later. If it disappears, then uh, we know. Actually, I've uh, I've just seen something in the comments that I assume must be about this question. Put a V where I should have put a P. So I think it is repulsion. Thanks, spoilery comments at the bottom. But yeah, both answers work. Profundities, which was their way of trying to get the word profanities in, but not putting profanities. Six letters. Something E, something T, something something. And our English county, we got any letters for it? The depths for that one. English county. See, as it sits right now, it looks like staffs should be the answer. As in Staffordshire. Can't think of anything else that fits there. So I'm going to change this to go it alone. And then it fits. There you go, Harmstone's with me. I think we're ready to, uh, to check all. Got a good feeling about this. I think we're going to be good. Fingers crossed. Horses at the ready. Prepare to release the horses. All good. GG's, everyone. GG's. Throw out your uh, GG emotes if you have any, or congratulatory emotes. Any celebration emotes. I still need to get a, uh, a celebration of fireworks and things going. Golfs, golfs! Massive, massive GGs. Okay. It's 10 to 4. Making fairly good time. Let's move on to crossword number 3. That's a good one. A bit of uh, always be chatting. Uh, sans. Blue heart. Crossword number 3. Hype! If you're not following any of the, uh, the people who for whom the emotes have been dropped, for lack of a better way of saying it. Uh, always be chatting with, with Sans and the Blue Heart, or Nova Charter with the hype. Do drop them a follow. Easiest way to do that is to click on an emote, but uh, Harmstone has very helpfully shouted them out as well, so you've got two options there. Make sure you give them a follow, and if you are lurking about here and not following, Follows are appreciated. Working very much towards 500 still. There you go. 471 is the current total. I'm dying to reach that 500 mark. And you can help with that. Crossword number three. Here are the clues. A cross is first. Giving adequate return for the outlay. Four hyphen nine. Herring. Salted and smoked. Seven. Unauthorised disclosures of information. Five. French singer, the little sparrow, died 1963. Four. Flirtatious woman, eight. Breathe out, six. Corrupt, six. Chosen, eight. Puts on, lecturers, four. No longer in the land of Nod, five. Cash, a desire, anagram, seven. Do do, do do something completely. You said do do. Two, three, five, three. And the downs, young lion, three. Bread basket, informal, seven. Food, informal, four. Until later, three, three. Refined, well educated, eight. Praise highly, five. 
Lacking in aesthetic judgment. Nine. Detachment forcing civilians into the Navy. Five, four. Shiner. Five, three. Do away with. Seven. Hatred, anagram. Shortage, six. To the smallest degree, five. First king of Israel, four. And droop, three. Okay. I'm going to immediately jump in and answer this one. Because there's a red, red dwarf reference. And that's smoke me a kipper. There's... I'll be back for breakfast. And now your answers. Ten across. Piaf. If you say so. Twenty-one across. Awake, yes. No longer in the land of Nod. One down, cub. Oh, it's not a kipper then. Bippers. Damn. As in Edith Piaf, it's a common quiz question. All right, I will cons consign that to memory. The French singer Little Sparrow, Edith Piaf. I won't remember that. Nine S. Flint's been creating his own direction. Nine sideways leaks. Sixteen down. Dearth. Is that right? There's a... Oh, yeah, sorry. I was reading the wrong side. I was reading the clue rather than the letters. Uh, 20 down is Saul, you think. It works at least for now. 11 across. Yeah. You saw it in the chat. It's not very chill the second part of this crosswords and chill so I won't say it but good work 13 across exhale 23 down sag yeah nobody wants a sag and up to date so let's see what else we have Chosen, eight letters, I'm going to say is selected. Detachment forcing civilians into the Navy. Ooh. Press gang. Cool. I felt like I did know that, but it wasn't coming. So I'm glad you answered it. <clears throat> this is a nice little chill track. Twenty-two across anagrams into readies, but not sure if it's a proper word for cash. It is not a proper word for cash, but it is Cockney rhyming, rhyming slang. Yeah, readies, Wonga. It's slang. Twenty-two across. Readies. Is it a word for cash, though? Yes. Yes, <laughs> unfortunately, it is. <laughs> Bad way to learn English? That clue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 24 across, go the whole hog. Oh, go the whole jog. Did that this morning. Went and did the whole jog. It was wonderful. Yeah. I really can't recommend the Guardian crossword for learning English. Learning slang? Sure. Learning English, as in Queen's English? Not so much. Liari, hello. How are you doing? Welcome on in. How are your cryptics going? How's life in cryptic crossword land? Hope you're well. 18 down least. Going well. Good. I'm glad to hear it. I've, uh, you 
tended to start as I'm on my way to bed, so I haven't been able to pop in very much. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock here in the UK by the time you start, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to catch you again soon. You haven't streamed the last couple of days? I'm thinking it must have been Monday or Tuesday that I, uh, that I saw you last. But welcome in. Do join in on the, uh, the less cryptic side of things, if you would like. Three down, grub. See? More slang. To confuse Rexiel. Grub is a slang word for food. Twelve down, black eye. A shiner. Mm. Did I read that clue? I don't remember reading that clue. Do away with. To get rid of. To... Banish. Is it two S? That's not right. It's not two N's in banish. It's going to be ish, I would expect, though. You won't like it, but I think eight across is bloater. Z. Doesn't fit with grub, though. another name for kippers. Yeah. It ruins our food. Don't know that one. Giving adequate return for the outlay. Okay. So you invest, you give something, and then you get something back. We didn't have blow trods, so just nosh for three down. I was thinking nosh as well, grub or nosh. Let's try and get some of these downs adjacent to it. That might help us. What's two down? Bread basket informal. Nope. Until later, three three. Oh my god, it is stomach. Oh guardian. It is as if they know that we've got somebody trying to learn English and they're like, let's just use words that nobody uses. Nobody calls their stomach their bread basket. <laughs> Until later. Tara. It pops up in rugby. Oh, yeah. It does, yeah. Put the ball in the bread basket, yeah. Okay. Tara, is that ta ra? I thought it was just T A R A, but maybe it's T A R R A R. Ta ra, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I won't do that then. Mm, what's five down? Refined, well-educated, eloquent? No, it doesn't fit. I don't think it's one L anyway. You eat. Yeah, it's good eats. All right. Okay, so that can keep bloater in there then. So that makes this one cost effective. Boom. Harmstone got there at the same time. Beautiful. And it gives us an F until later for now. Bye for now. Yeah. I hate to say it, Mr. Harmstone, but we seem to be on the same kind of wavelength or brain capacity today. getting to answers at the same time. It is worrying. I'm, I think I'm more worrying, worrying, worried than you are. I haven't got any off 
these puts on lecturers dons dons does that work you don something you put it on the lecturer someone with all the knowledge is a don the dons 15 down abolish then okay do away with abolish yes great answer your English is probably better than all of ours, to be fair. Good work. Okay. Lacking in aesthetic judgment. Mm, that's why I need to get into slang. Hey! Then you have stumbled into the exact right place. For a bit of slang. Idols. Six down. I was going to say, what one's that for? Ah, not, not for leaks. I'm kidding, of course. Well, I mean, depends what your purpose for learning English is. If it's conversational English, because you, you know, are planning to come here and mix in, then some slang won't hurt you. But ideal... But leaks is still wrong. I really thought it was correct. I prefer idols to, to ideal for six down. It's definitely cost effective, nothing else fits. Find well educated starts with a C. Corrupt now has an A in it. Cultured. Beautiful. Nice, nice. That's a, that's a very cultured answer from Flinsman very refined answer. So a flirtatious woman. Mm. This crossword is a few years old. I wonder if this, this has aged well. This, aren't, this answer, clue, whatever you want to call it. One across could be cost efficient. Oh, that's true. Efficient. Efficient. Okay. And then six down could be exalt. Okay, yeah, I'm more happy with that. Lacking in aesthetic judgment then starts with a T. Tasteless. Smashed it now. Not my spelling, but everything else. Tamsanaki currently leading in the Acorn Battle for September. She won last month. I owe her a gift sub when the time comes, when she becomes up for renewal. Or she can choose to pass that on to someone else if she so wishes. I don't think she's here right now, though. I think there's... Uh, Potentially some singing going on. IRL. That she's involved in. <sighs> Flirtatious woman. That's probably an L. Or a... To corrupt something. To deface it. Yes. So it's just our flirtatious woman left. My god, my phone is blowing up. important. Someone's popular, yeah. I just gotta keep keep an eye on these things in my child's first week of kindergarten in okay, case something goes wrong and I need to dash. But uh, yeah, that would be a call rather than messages or notifications, wouldn't it? So I needn't worry at the moment. Uh, coquette. I 
I don't know if that's derogatory or not because I don't know what it means. That's a word. Apparently so. It's a French word. Let's check all. So it's not deface, so I think it's debase. And it is. Yeah. Just means flirtatious, means like shy. Okay, cool. Probably not derogatory then. That's nice. Because women are allowed to flirt. Just making that clear. It was looked down on in the past. But that's the past. I need to leave that kind of nonsense thinking behind. <clears throat> Congratulations, Mr. Harmstone, winning the jump catch game. Gets you a little bit of uh, extra points. Cool. Right, so, five past four. N not spamming the chat. That's why I thought I'd wait until I s to start the next crossword until uh, you were able to catch the star or somebody was able to catch the star. But we're ready to go now. Crossword number four. Here we go. Clues in whenever you're ready. Here they are. The cross is first. Degenerate, six. Gives up, five. Cause to f cause to feel better six, spasmodic six, extremely serious four, of good appearance and manners eight, expressed by movement rather than word one across triple H nice uh, eleven for number two, for clue twelve expressed mo by movement rather than words eleven, brief publication eight, dumpster. Bypass, four. Without being moved, two, four. Worn at the edge, six. Saucy, five. Customer, six. The downs are bringing to mind, seven. Suitability, health, seven. Routine drudgery, exercise machine, nine. Capital City on the Nile, five. Boldly resistant, fainted, anagram, seven. Close, sensual, six. Could be close, sensual, six. Generous in giving, abundant, nine. As a group, two, five. Mitigate, seven. Clear to see, seven. Cannabis cigarette, six and snag five. Let's go, three down, treadmill. On the treadmill. Four down, Cairo, yep. Egypt, Egypt, capital city. Uh, one across Triple H, I'm just gonna put, oh no, I can't put it in there. If we hadn't put an answer in there, I'd have put it in there for the lols to, uh, to keep going but uh, but uh, I'm sure Triple H is watching so I do wish him the best he's, if his recent cardiac event hope that convalescence goes well 16 down spliff eighteen down catch fifteen across could be obvious could be it works for the moment. Um, saucy five letters starts with F, ends in H. Worn at the edge. Dumpster bypass four with a V in it. Move. Dive. Dumpster dive. Bye. Works for now. Works for the moment. Gives up. 
would have said quits. Seeds! Hmm. Nice answer, Flinsman. That's a good one. Beautiful bit of words play there. So we've got an S now at the beginning of close. Sensual. Sensual. Can't say that word. As a group, I'm going to say is on mass. Oops. Which is another French phrase. You will find that English is full of French and German and everything, really. It is a melting pot language, for show. Sure. Quite a lot now for 17. A pamphlet. which fits, so I'm going to say that 18 is not a uh, catch, so I'm going to clear that. I'm not sure about 16 down anymore. 20 could be on site. What is 20? Without being moved on site. Not wedded to catch, good, because it's gone. I think cannabis cigarette is right. Ah, that, without being moved, is in sit situ. Which is Latin. We're throwing all the yeah, different languages out there. Yeah, without being moved, in situ. And 18 down hitch. Yes, to hitch. So saucy, is that flesh? Or fresh? I hope not too. That's a terrible clue. Let's put fresh in there for now. Customer. I'm not sure about obvious. Because I want to say that customer is punter clients. Oh no, but that would be client. So that would still be wrong. Yeah, so client or punter. So I, I, do, I do think obvious might not be obvious. Evident. Yes. Then client fits. Okay, cool. Nice. And dive, which I wasn't completely. Which means dive is wrong. Yeah, I wasn't married to that one anyway, so. Skip. Perfect. Where am I typing? Nowhere, apparently. Yeah, a dumpster, a skip, a bypass to skip it. Perfect. This sounds like the theme to a uh, a game show from the uh, 70s or 80s. It's Celebrity Deathmatch! I'm your host, The Jazz Show. Joining us tonight are special guests, Ron Burgundy, Lily Savage, And Sylvester Stallone. And Sylvester Stallone. <sighs> Five down defiant. It's quite kazoo heavy. I like a bit of kazoo though. <laughs> I'm the new host of the Jazz Show. Wolfie, welcome in. On a secret account. Uh, ten across decorum. Ten, 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 ten. Nah. Could be. It would kill defiant, which was. No, that definitely works. 
This is my burner account, fair enough. I've, I, as a person with several burner accounts, I can appreciate that. Hope you're well though, sir. Good to see you. One day it won't be you, it'll be your... Uh, your um, co-host, your partner in crime. Not really? Oh no. Well, hopefully we can brighten up your day a little bit here. Get involved in some crosswords. Just generally hang out. Listen to my dulcet English tones. Slightly, slightly twinged Welsh. Not really, quite well. Okay, I'm confused now. Which of these refer to your day? <laughs> in ten words or less, how are you feeling? Deco. No, it's not really my burner account. I'm doing quite well. Okay, cool. I'm glad you're doing quite well. That makes me feel better. Yeah. Now I've been I've been wanting to tune into your uh, the shows on this account. New game never played, but they're at silly o'clock in the morning here in the UK, so I haven't been able to. It's not quite the same experience checking out the VOD. So one day I'll be up that late. Eleven down, bountiful. Bountiful. Mm -hmm. And frayed. There you go. That's what I was looking for. So fourteen down. Mitigate. So it's like damage control or to prevent something. To reduce the amount of damage that something causes. say that's a V. I've got no reason to to say that, but I've got a B now in if if of good manners and appearance. Debonair Much made up a word. You tell me, folks. Make up words that sound vaguely French. Shove them into a crossword. Express by movement rather than words. It's going to be something eight. That's going to be an N or an L, is my prediction. Expressed by movement rather than words. Ah! Gesticulate. Boom! That's all the time we got here. I'm not getting any better than that. Assuage. Which is a good answer because you get to put ass in there. Always got to shove your ass in stuff. It's a life lesson for you all. Something's about stick your ass in it. Six down might be sultry. I think you're right. Shoving your ass in stuff is the jazz way. That is the order of things. Eight across. Spasmodic. Something in spasm, or prone to spasm. Willful? Oh. I must have the meaning of spasmodic. Incorrect, then. Age cross is fitful. That fits more... Uh, more closely to what I believed spasmodic, spasmodic meant. Yes, I like that. <clears throat> Cause to feel better. A leave? Flinsman said grim for nine across earlier. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. A leave doesn't fit, does it? 
Oh, did somebody... No, that was a different thing. Never mind. Bringing to mind. Mm, to conjure, to... You can... Whatever this answer is, you can see it happening live in front of your eyes. As my brain crunches its way through permutations. <clears throat> Fitness for two down. Suitability. Yeah, okay. So that, that is not grim then. Man, I could sure go for a 16 down. 16 down. <laughs> it's, it's not my... Uh, my jam, to be honest. What tends to result from that is more my jam. I'm more about the munchies than the cannabis. Just skip out the cannabis section and go straight to the munchies. That's how I feel about that. So we've got a few clues left. Degenerate Six letters. Something, something, F, something, T, something. Uh, it's not his jam, it's his rum. Touche. Yeah, but isn't marijuana like super illegal in the UK? Mm. I mean, distribution of it is. Like, they will, they will make a point, they being the police and the legal people, will make a point of finding cannabis farms and shutting them down and prosecuting the people involved in them. But I don't think anybody has been prosecuted for possession of cannabis in a very long time. Like, the only reason it like uh, hasn't been legalised here is because the Tories like, are living in the 1950s. They can't possibly conceive legalising something that they don't do. Cocaine, on the other hand, if they could find a way to legalise cocaine, they would do it. Uh, one across, effect. I will take your word for that. And bringing to mind, evoking. That works. Okay, so now final two clues. Cause to feel better, six. Something O, something T, something E. An extremely serious something I, something E. Extremely serious. Cause to feel better, bow tie. Dire, okay, I'm with that one. Explain this one to me. Flinsman. Joking. <laughs> Just fits. <laughs> Believed you then as well. You got me. Soothe. Boom. Got that. Right. Hold on to your reins. Horses at the ready. Cause as in a verb. That's so mean. It's mostly used as a verb, to be fair. We use it more as a verb here than a noun. Rather than the cause. Which would be a noun. But Let's check all. We are good. GG's, everyone. Throw your celebratory... I can't speak the though. Throw your celebratory emotes in the chat. Share your happiness. And we've completed yet another crossword. Crossword number four of the day. I wonder if I can uh, do this. Hang on. Dun, 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 dun. This one is what I want. Uh. Whee! Let's do that again. There you go.
I should get the uh, a button to do that properly. Really. And attach it to the GG button. With a horse's neigh. And a squirrel riding a horse. With a sign that says GG on it. All these things. Exciting things that exist only in my brain. Will need to be manifest one day. But not today. Crossword number five, our fifth and final crossword of the day. Let's make it a good one, here are the clues. Crosses. The 1960s, for example. Six. Arise, four, two. Don Quixote's tongue, seven. Ivanhoe's creator, five. Outmoded, five. Error, seven. Add-ons, eleven. Caribbean country, seven. Uh, clique or click of plotters, five. Four quartets poet, five. Made into a god, seven. Globe, six. Spoonbender Uri, six. And the downs. Notorious French Marquis, died 1814, two, four. In tone, five. Diminish, shrink slowly, seven. Baby's teething biscuits, yeah, love these. Five. Bottled fuel, seven. Salesperson's talk, six. Author of Under the Greenwood Tree, six, five. Protect and care for lovingly, seven. Be recumbent, seven. Escape route, six. Unpowered aircraft, six. In motion, out of bed, five. Fab, fish, five. Lots of Fs to finish. One down, Dessard. I'm glad that someone got that, because I would not have known. French Marquises, not my specialist subject. One across a decade, absolutely. A decade. Lovely. Um, so, baby's teething biscuits. These are good just as a casual snack. They're a bit expensive as a snack, but they are a beautiful snack. Or, if you take a few of them, put them in a bowl, and then pour over some warm milk, and it turns into a mush. Very lovely snack. They are rusks. Love a rusk. Rusks are amazing. 25 across is Geller. Yes, Yuri Geller. Not to be confused with Ross Geller, who does not bend spoons. But he was on a break. Salesperson talk, I believe, is patter. Sales patter. Um, what else have we got here? Not to be that guy, but it is Geller. Quite right. And please do be that guy. I can't be trusted. Absolutely cannot be trusted. So please do be that guy. Spelling is fundamental. Wait, that's reading. It's all fundamental. Word stuff. So what is 17 down, ending in R? Unpowered aircraft, I would suggest is a glider. So, although some gliders are powered. I have only ever taken part in unpowered gliding. And that's a lot of fun. Even the being launched at high speed into the air by what is essentially a catapult. Sounds scary as hell. The knowledge of what is happening to you is scary as hell. But it's good. It's good fun. I recommend it. Uh, Jez putting the fun back in fundamental. Wouldn't go that far. Putting the, the mental back in fundamental. That would probably be more accurate. The, the, the dumb, the damn, dumb. 
Fundamental. Putting the dumb back in fundamental. That one works because it's misspelled as well. So it just adds to the level of dumb. We digress. An error is a mistake. Putting the NTA back in fundamental. I don't know what NTA is. What's NTA? Let's Google it. National Television Awards. There you go. I, I, d I definitely do that. All about those National Television Awards. Massive digressions here in our last uh, crossword. Now, Don Quixote is um, Italian, right? So, is his tongue the language he speaks? Is it Sis? Sicilia? No, that's not it. Was he Italian? Spanish. There you go. Shows what I know. Thank you, Rexiel. Two down. Arise! No, four. Four across, that is. It's two down. In tone. Tilting at windmills. Tilting at windmills. Tilting at windmills. Those certainly are words. I know the language of every tit trying to fight my windmills. <laughs> Titting at windmills, that would be. Uh, 23 across is defied. Or de deified, yes, it is deified, yeah. Made into a god. Deified, diified. About Don Quixote. Apparently everyone knows more about Don Quixote than me. I thought I knew stuff, but I don't. It turns out, no Don Quixote knowledge at all. Switch the E and the I. Thank you. He thought windmills were monsters and used to joust, joust them. Hey, I like this kind of guy. It is a palindrome. Yeah. When you spell it right, at least. D-E. D-E-I-F-I-E-D. D-E-I-F-I-E-D. Uh, fab. Fish. What have we got here? 20 across is cabal. A clique of plotters, a cabal. Yep. Is this your uh, tabletop knowledge coming in there, is it, Wolf? So that gives us a B on our fish, our fab or fish. Brill? That means fab. It's a brill. A fish? Yes, it is. Honestly, probably. A brill is a fish. There you go. Looks like this. There he is. He's got two... He's got two eyes. It looks like a top-down flatfish, and he's got two eyes there. But it also looks like this is the open mouth. It looks, looks pretty creepy. Anyway, Brilla's a fish. That's the moral of the story here. Walter Scott wrote Ivanhoe. Ivanhoe's creator. Scott. Perfect. Uh, Caribbean country. Well grab some letters before we throw that one in there. Globe planet or sphere that's too many letters is it? No. Sphere. Yeah let's try that. Uh, 
outmoded is dated. What does intone mean, folks? Anybody know? It's not a word I'm familiar with, but the answer is C something A something T. I don't know what that word means. Uh, arise. It's no, it's not. Never mind. Never mind. Thirteen across extensions. Yeah. Extension. Oh. Extensions. No. Does not fit. Two don't. Two down might be chant. It seems to fit. Oops. So an intone, a tone would be a chant, that kind of fits. Even if you don't know what the word means, tone and chant match together quite well. Intone is like speaking or singing, so maybe a chant. Hey, that. That's enough knowledge for me. That does the job. Still nothing for our Caribbean country. Four quarters poet, or quartets poet. No, not sure. Diminish. Shrink slowly. 14 down, cherish. Yep. Good answer. Jamaica. No, she did it of her own accord, mate. Doesn't fit now, though. Uh, bottled fuel. Bottled fuel. The bottled part of this seems important. Propane. The bottled part was important. And that is somebody's king of the hill watching, paying off. Oh, bona fide propane salesman. Hank from King of the Hill. Under the Greenwood Tree. Anybody read it? We're just going to be guessing names. Propane and propane accessories. Can't do his accent. Taste the meat, not the heat. I mean, gas barbecues are the devil's work. As much as I want one for reasons of laziness, but you can't, build, you can't beat a proper charcoal barbecue. Yes, uh, you are agreed. And as a man of the South and an honorary, honorary Welshman, of course you agree. Smoked meat is the way. Uh, 18 across could be Granada. Ooh, could be, if I can spare. But it makes 16 down and 19 down pretty weird. Yeah, what is 16 down? Escape route. In motion. Out of bed. Arise. Oh no. So did we decide that sphere wasn't right then, did we? Then planet. So Cherish is wrong. If Cherish is wrong, then Granada could be wrong. Is Granada in the Caribbean? Hello, mother. Hello, father. Here I am at Camp Granada. Mm. 
no, I'm gonna stick with fear. I'm gonna kill a rise. I think that's the way that I'm gonna go with that at the moment. Add-ons? Hey! Propane accessories that you threw in earlier. Oops. My bad. Scrolling in the wrong places. I think it is accessories. Boom. There you go. An add-on is an accessory. <laughs> what would you look at that? Taste the meat, not the heat. Charcoal, wood, fire, and smoking. These are the only acceptable outdoor cooking formats. Agreed. Eight down Thomas something. Thomas. Five letter name. There are many. Smith. Mm. I'm sure it'll come to us in a little while. The, a, a name will fit. Um, 16 down, escape route, no. Four quartets poet, I have no idea. Diminish, shrink slowly. It's going to be a consonant in here, I think. Shrink something slowly to... Dwindle? Hmm. Hmm. Perfect. Is four quarts T.S. Eliot? Even... It fits, so let's roll with it. This song playing right now has a very familiar melody to it. I mean, if... If you've tuned into Crosswords and Chill before, which I know you have, then you'll have heard this song many times. Like it's an elevator music of another song. Could be. It's just a royalty-free bit of chill that I've found. Okay. In motion, out of bed. Mm. Aster fits, but is that out of bed? Does aster mean in motion? If it does, then I'm going to go with it and just assume that it does mean it out of bed. Or astir, astir, for in motion, or and astir, as in to stir. Yeah, there you go. In a state of excited movement. Streets are astir, and also awake and out of bed. He woke before anyone was astir. Seems to work. Okay, so that confirms Granada, now that we've thrown a few more little bits in there. And 16 down, an escape route. Uh, egress? There you go. Wolfie got there too. So, arise. It's going to be something up. Prop up? Does prop work? 15 down is recline. Oh, I didn't even see that we had 15 down left. Thank you very much. 
How are we feeling about prop up for this one? The only answer I have right now. I don't think it's right though. <laughs> Could 8 down be Tom Hardy of Mad Max Fury Road fame? I mean... I have heard of Thomas Hardy, the writer. Thomas Maddy? Is Thomas Maddy an actual person that you've heard of, Linsman, or are you just making a word? Is Hardy is also a word we could go with? No. <laughs> Let's go with Hardy, and then we'll try Maddy if it fails. But that... That is a full crossword. Same name, different person, but I think it's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I have heard of a writer called Thomas Hardy. Let's find out. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay. We've lost the beginning of a rise. It's not P. It's not prop up. But hey, everything else was right. Um, a rise, shop up? No, shop up. Crop up? Crop? Why? Oh, something that may arise. Something that may happen. Something that may crop up. Okay. Check it. Check it, check it. It's good. GG's, everyone. Celebratory emotes in the hat. In the, in the uh, chat. Spam those emotes. Let's have them. Show me those emotes. Come on. Bring them on. Spam me your celebrations. Taste the meat, not the heat. Bring on the emotes. We need them. We need them bad. Let's jump back to chatting as we begin to wrap up. That was a good bit of crosswords. Nice to ease back into it a little bit and uh, shake the brain matter loose on the way to maybe getting some more crosswords done in our allotted two hours on a Thursday. But uh, if you have come here for the first time, uh, you've just been lurking or you've joined in for the first time, uh, thank you very much for doing so. You can find crosswords here every Thursday at 3 p.m. UK time. You can also find many other streams. Thank you for the follow, Raxiel. I've enjoyed having you here, so I'm glad that you've enjoyed being here, as specified by your follow. Very much appreciated. Crosswords isn't all I do, though, and here is what I have coming up for the rest of this week. Uh, tomorrow, uh, not on this channel, but over on Always Be Chatting's channel. Let's drop him another shout-out always be chatting uh, that's our Friday nights talk show comedy show ranty banty talk show where we uh, chat about the week chat about things that have irked us chat about fun things and uh, basically bring the week to a close in as fun a way as possible it's 9pm tomorrow over on his channel this week we swap it back and forth over on my sports channel uh, this weekend uh, that's twitch.tv slash show sports I've got the effing racing show on Sunday uh, we're also going to have an impromptu effing racing show for the uh, the sprint race in Monza on Saturday I think that's about about the same time um, but stay tuned for that one and then on Sunday in addition to the Formula 1 race it's a uh, two minute warning and we're going to have a bit of pre-game chat and banter before week one of the NFL season kicks off. I'm also, in an impromptu kind of way, going to be playing some of the Call of Duty Vanguard beta a little bit here and a little bit on my Facebook and YouTube as well. So lots to come from me in the weekend. Hope you've enjoyed being here now. Let's see who we can go across and raid. Who is live? Who deserves our love? Uh, Mr. Nova Charter deserves our love because he's lurking. We always like to support the people 
who lurk and lend us their love. He's just chatting at the moment. He's been doing a lot of marbles on stream very recently. So if you like marbles on stream, I'm sure he could be persuaded. Equally, he could be probably persuaded to do a, about anything. He's a nice guy, so go and share your love with him. Uh, I'll throw my schedule back up once more as I bid you adieu. Thanks for joining me on Crosswords and Chill. I've been Jez. You've been beautiful. Thank you, and good afternoon. <laughs>